This video is an analysis of a monatomic ideal gas taken through the thermodynamic cycle ABCA shown on the PV diagram. So let's go ahead and start with the first process AB. That process uh, is a vertical line and is an isochoric, meaning the same volume, process. Sometimes this kind of a process is also called an isovolumetric process and we give that this name because the change in volume of this gas is equal to zero during that kind of a process. So anytime you have a vertical line we refer to that as an isochoric or isovolumetric process because the change in volume is zero. If the gas does not experience a change in volume, then uh, the gas is not able to exert a force over a distance, and so the work done by uh, a gas in an isochoric process will always be zero. And so if the first law of thermodynamics is given by delta U, which represents the change in internal energy of the gas, equals Q, plus W, where Q represents the heat that enters or leaves the system and W represents the work done by the system, then uh, W here is zero because there's no work done on or by the gas and so the change in internal energy in the process AB should be equal to the heat added to or removed from the system. For an ideal gas that is monatomic, the change in internal energy is also given by three halves, where the three represents the number of degrees of freedom of the ideal gas, times n, which represents the total number of particles of the gas, times k, which is Boltzmann's constant, multiplied by the change in temperature between the final and initial uh, states of the gas. And so here, clearly, uh, the, the, the change in the temperature lets us know about the change in the internal energy of the gas. So the way that we're going to uh, compare the final and initial temperatures of the gas is by the ideal gas law, which says PV equals NKT. So at any uh, moment on that thermodynamic cycle, the, the temperature can be given by the product of the pressure and volume divided by nk, which uh, for this kind of a problem is going to be a constant. So the changes in pressure and volume are what affect the temperature. And in fact, different locations on that PV diagram correspond to different temperatures. And so I could write the change in internal energy in process AB as 3 halves nk times the final temperature minus the initial temperature. And the final temperature occurs at location B, which corresponds to a pressure of 2P and a volume of V. The product of 2P and V is 2PV. The denominator is still NK. Minus the initial temperature, which would occur at location A, where the pressure is P and V. And so I should be subtracting minus PV over NK. If I perform the subtraction, 2PV minus 1PV leaves me with just PV. And the NK outside of the parentheses will cancel with the NK in the denominator on the inside of the parentheses. And so I'm left with 3 halves PV. And 3 halves PV, of course, can be written as 1.5 PV. And so what I'd like to do now is I would like to use the information that I just learned to start to fill in that first law of thermodynamics chart that I have in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And so for process AB there was a change in temperature and 
Uh, for that reason, there is a change in internal energy of the gas. And the change in internal energy delta U was 1.5 PV. I know that the change in internal energy uh, of the gas must be positive because the temperature increased. And we know that by looking at the graph as well because we started at a pressure P and a volume V and we maintained the same volume but the pressure increased. That must mean that the temperature increased. This change in the internal energy of the gas was not caused by any work that was done on the system. The work was equal to zero because it was an isochoric process. There was no change in volume and also in looking at the PV diagram, the area under the curve of uh, a thermodynamic process tells us how much work was done and for a vertical line there is no area under the curve so of course the work is zero and so the change in internal energy of the gas that 1.5 PV increase in the internal energy of the gas was due to heat that was added to the gas in the amount of 1.5 PV right and of course we saw this early on uh, when we said that delta U equals Q the change in internal energy of the gas is equal to the amount of heat that was added to the gas in that first process AB. So now let's go ahead and do the same thing for the other two processes. The next process uh, in the cycle is process BC. Process BC is a horizontal line on that PV diagram and uh, if you look at the vertical axis that means that the pressure is constant there's a constant pressure of 2p in process BC a, a process where the pressure is constant is referred to an isobaric process an isobaric process and an isobaric process is one where the change in the pressure is zero and so uh, what can we learn about an isobaric process? Well, the first thing we did in, for process AB was recognize that the area under the curve was zero, and so the work done was zero. There was no change in volume, but here there is a change in volume. And so what does that change in volume look like, and how can I calculate the work done during this process? If I look at the PV diagram, so we can understand this with a picture first, if I start off at point B and I move to point C, if I move like this from left to right across the screen, then the area under the curve would be everything that I'm highlighting here. And so what is the area under the curve? How can we calculate that? We typically think of this work as being the the average pressure over that interval which is going to be 2p multiplied by the change in volume and in order to obtain the correct sign for the work we would like for uh, cases like this where the volume is increasing we would like the internal energy of the, of the gas to decrease and so the way that that we account for that is we put a minus sign here so in process BC, the volume of the gas increases. I know that because um, we're moving from left to right. And so the volume is increasing. And so how do I make the internal energy of the gas decrease for an increase in volume? We'll find that that negative sign is going to be necessary. And so now plugging in the values, I get W equals minus the pressure for this process, which is 2p, times the change in volume. The final volume is 2v, and the initial volume was v. So 2v minus v leaves me with just v, and so the work done in this process is minus 2pv. So there's a negative amount of work, uh, and, and when I think about the first law of thermodynamics, delta u, equals Q plus W, it should make some sense as to why the work here should be negative. I would like the internal energy to decrease and so I should have a minus sign on the right hand side of the equation for the work.
And so now how do I think about delta u and q for this process? Well, I can find delta u the same way that I found delta u in the isochoric process AB. So if I write delta u equals 3 halves nk, the final temperature would still be given by the product PV over NK. That should be at the location C where the pressure is 2P and the volume is 2V. So I would get 4PV in the numerator over NK and the initial temperature occurs at location B on the PV diagram where once again I get the product of 2P and V for the numerator. So 2PV over NK. Once again here I have uh, subtraction in those parentheses where I have 4PV over NK minus 2PV over NK which of course leaves me with 2PV over NK. The NKs once again cancel and uh, I need to take the 2 and multiply that by the coefficient that's already there, the 3. That would give me 6PV over 2 which is equal to 3 PV. And so now let's jump back over to the chart in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. If I know that the change in internal energy of the gas is 3 PV and I know that the work done during that process is minus 2 PV, then how do I determine what Q is? Well, the first law of thermodynamics says delta U equals Q plus W. So uh, what multiple of PV uh, would I need for Q in order to make the equation work out? And it turns out that the amount of heat that needs to be added to uh, the gas during process BC in order to make the equation work is 5 PV. Right, and we can see this because 5 minus 2 PV uh, gives me 3 PV for the change in internal energy. The last process in this cycle is the process that takes us from C back to A. This process is what I will call a linear compression. A linear compression. because the gas is compressed from a volume of 2V back to V. And this occurs in a straight line at an angle that goes from directly C to A. So the first thing I'd like to do, uh, just as we did for process BC, is to figure out how much work was done on the gas in this process. And if I look at the PV diagram, and I start at position C and I end at position A and I'm moving along that line I see that the area under the curve for this process is everything that I'm shading in here. And so how do I calculate the area of, of that shape? Well I could either go up to the PV diagram and break that area down into the uh, triangle and rectangle that it's composed of and find the areas of those shapes or I could just remember that I can calculate the work by minus the average pressure multiplied by the change in volume of this gas. And in this process, the pressure is changing, so the fact that we need to use the average pressure is important here. The average pressure, um, well, it uh, goes from a pressure of 2P to a pressure of P. So the average pressure there would be 1.5P. And the change in volume goes from 2V to V. So the final volume is V and the initial volume was 2V. And so in those parentheses, V minus 2V will give me a negative V, which means the work done in this process will be positive because the negative in the parentheses will cancel with the negative in front of the equation. I'm left with 1.5 PV. So the work done in that process is, is 1.5 PV. Once again, the change in internal energy
of the gas uh, is given by 3 halves NK times the change in the temperature during that process. And for this last process, I'm going to leave that up to you to um, show what that looks like. But when you find the change in internal energy of the gas, you should see that it's negative in this process because the um, final temperature is less than the initial temperature and so we get minus 4.5 PV and just like with the last process if we know that delta U equals Q plus W and we already know that delta U is minus 4.5 PV equals Q plus 1.5 PV then we should be able to find what Q is, right? Q should be equal to minus 4.5 PV minus an additional 1.5 PV, which is minus 6 PV. And so now we should be able to fill in the rest of our chart. For process CA, the change in internal energy of the gas was minus 4.5 PV. The heat, in this case, represented by Q, that was removed from the system because Q is negative, is minus 6 PV. And the work in this last process is given by 1.5 PV. And so for the entire cycle, looking now at the process A, B, C, A in its entirety, um, what do we get for the total for delta U, Q, and W for the entire cycle. For the change in internal energy, um, I have positive 1.5, positive 3, which is a positive 4.5, and then a negative 4.5. So the change in internal energy of the gas is 0. For Q, we have a positive 6.6 .6 PV minus 6 PV, so that leaves me with a positive 0 0.5 PV and then for the work we have a minus 2 PV and a positive 1.5 PV so that leaves me with a minus 0 0.5 PV and so for the entire cycle uh, we see that the change in internal energy of the gas delta U was 0 and that should make sense because we've returned to the same location on the PV diagram which corresponds to the same pressure and same volume. And so uh, in the case that the amount of gas, uh, the, the number of particles is constant, the product PV determines the temperature. And so the temperature has not changed when we return back to the same location A. And so the internal energy hasn't changed. And although the internal energy of the gas did not change, uh, there was a net amount of heat added to the gas and a net amount of work done by the gas um, that are equal and opposite to each other. The positive 0 0.5 PV in the heat added to the gas and the minus 0 0.5 PV in the work done by the gas cancel in order to bring us back to the same location on the PV diagram and giving us a change in internal energy of zero.